Hey everybody, Jerry here from Android Central, and we're looking at ice cream sandwich on the Samsung Nexus, Nexus S. Uh, excuse my dirty phone, been playing with it for a uh, night and a day here. Not even been to bed. Yeah, I get excited and get all nerded out. Uh, anyway, this is a from source build. Uh, Android developer Quibu jumped out on the scene. Uh, there's been quite a few of us flashing and fighting and carrying on and trying to see what we could do to get it everything up and running. Uh, he busted out and he gave us something that, you know, most everything works. There are some issues with the accelerometer. The video camera does not work. And uh, the original early builds data was a, a bit wonky on Wi-Fi. But uh, now that's sorted out, you know, the, the Wi-Fi data. Cell data works, Bluetooth. Uh, Facial unlock, as long as you don't have a beard. We'll talk about that in a second. Anyway, it's it's a real good preview. Look at that blue flash when you get to the edge. I like that. It's a real good preview of what Google's going to push us out to us, hopefully soon. Uh, it's it's ice cream sandwich like we saw, you know, on for the Galaxy Nexus. Uh, you got five home screens here. You've got a new launch bar. Uh, Google Search is now embedded at the top. You pull your notifications down. You can swipe them away individually. Uh, that's that's awesome. You've got the new folder system. Let's have a look at that. Just grab two random things here. And that ah, wrong placement. Drag one on top of the other, and it makes a little folder inside a bubble. You know, you tap it, and it opens your folder. I've got one set up here with you know gtalk twitter and google plus and when well, you don't want something you just drag it and throw it away uh like i saw you saw before you set your wallpapers you long press your screen uh let's look at the live wallpapers here uh phase beam that's the new one let's go ahead and set it so we can see hardware acceleration works here it's not the right binaries for the nexus nexus s so it's not the fastest thing in the world but it's working uh as I've said before, I'll say it again, my hat's off to Quibu. He's done an excellent job. Uh, look here, we've got widgets, and they're resizable, just like we saw before, you know, in the presentation from Google. You long press your home button, and you've got the applications you've been looking at. You can swipe them away. So that's pretty cool get in the app drawer here I've been installing you know most of the apps that I've paid for to see what works and what doesn't so far the verdict is pretty good most of the developers have either got ready or got lucky either one is fine I'm sure they'll take either you go through you've got a little bit of animation in your app drawer now it's horizontal I can't say that I care for that as much but that's the way it is so no sense in me complaining see it tilts and when you go from screen to screen you have a little bit of 3d you know animation there you keep going and this is how you get to your widgets now uh, I've like I said I've added some stuff here uh, the built-in widgets are are included you know your email Gmail widget Google Plus which is included in the build that's now part of uh, Google Apps all of these widgets work just fine news and weather power control to put one on, you just long press, put it where you want it to go, and let go. And then, of course, you can, you know, turn on and off GPS or sync or automatic brightness. Whatever you'd like to do, you turn it right off from the, the widget on that one. It's just like we saw before. And, you know, widgets, they're not going to change too much. They don't want to change too much. You, you know, you need to keep the experience the same from, you know, use case to use case. But they're laid out differently and the way you choose them is differently. I think it's much nicer, so I wanted to have a good look at that. Uh, one other thing we wanted to look at here, let's go back. Look at the camera. The video camera, as I mentioned, isn't working, but uh, Panorama and the still camera seems to be working just fine. Pardon me. Uh, we don't have the right hardware, so we don't have zero lag, but It's pretty quick, you know, it's quicker than it was before. Uh, the pictures themselves, you know, I don't know how much you can improve 
you know, with the new software, I'm sure it can slightly, but you know, you have a new way of sharing them. You open them from the camera, you can tap an icon, and there I could share. I, uh, yeah, I've installed SwiftKey, the standard keyboard. We'll have a look at that as well. I could share that through Google Plus, so that's a little bit new, at least new for stock Android. I think that's been in some custom builds for quite a while. Uh, pull down the notification shade. You can swipe away notifications. That's something people from Palm will love to see. Go here and go in the system settings. We'll have a look at you know, what we've got here. You go to about phone. This build is slightly different from the, the one that's up for download. I've been tinkering, trying a few things. Trust me, anything uh, we get figured out that's an improvement, we make sure to send uh, changes back to the developer. It's uh, Android 4.0.1. Baseband is going to be unchanged. We don't have a new radio yet. Kernel version, that's a custom kernel that was built when they compiled from source. Like I said about the build number, that's that's just something generic I put in there. Don't worry about that. System updates, of course, we're not going to see any. The build is pre-rooted and it comes with all the developer options because it's, you know, a, a user debug build. We've got user debugging, stay awake. Mock locations. There's my device ID. Nobody try to hack my phone, please. Uh, and then you've got other things. You can show pointer location. You can show touches. Uh, you can, you know, show CPU usage. You tap that, and it shows CPU how it's being used up there on the screen. So there's lots of cool development options in here. Uh, accessibility. That's you know stuff that's built in for you know people that need a little bit of extra help. Power button ends call, change the size of the text, talk back what happens on the screen, those sorts of things. Those are all built into stock now. Uh, backup and reset, that's the same. Language and input, we've got a new uh, text to speech engine. Let's have a look at or listen to that. This is an example of speech synthesis in English. So that's something new. That's, I guess, it's an improvement. Uh, Security, uh, you've got your lock screen options. Okay, facial unlock is built into this phone. Uh, right after the Galaxy Nexus event, somebody from Google informed me that with my beard, facial unlock is never gonna work. Uh, and I think they were right. Facial unlock works just fine with my wife's beautiful face, but if I try to use my big bushy bearded face, I can force it to find it and set up the unlock pattern but I have not yet been able to get it to actually use my picture of my face to unlock the phone. Uh, I'm not shaving. For now, I'll use the slide to unlock and I'll be fine with that. You've got phone encryption now. That's something new. Uh, the rest of the stuff we've already seen. Location, accounts and sync. Uh, that's, you know, that's all pretty standard. Sound, display, storage. We know how all that works. Data usage. It's not displaying correctly, it is collecting data, so that's just a little tweak. Somebody will have to get figured out. We can get it to display here. But uh, data is being collected, you can see it in the system. Uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, that, that's all working. Uh, all in all, it's it's pretty sweet. It's a nice preview. It's a little slow, you know, like I mentioned before, we don't have the right hardware drivers, but uh, you know, Android third-party developers, they're not gonna let a thing like that stop them. If you've got a Nexus S, uh, you know, look through the post, find the source links, give it a try yourself. You're going to be really happy. Uh, it only takes a few minutes to flash it back up, and then you can roll back if you decide it's not going to work for you. Uh, I'm going to get back to work tinkering with it. This is this is why I love Android, and uh, I'm going to have a fun day trying to break things. I'll talk to you guys later. I'm out of here.